Nathan Birnbaum. Look, you're just going to put a new cigar. I got. Oh. I got. I don't know whether that's a good cigar or not. It's kind of a. That's a good cigar. Is that a good cigar? Yeah. Oh yeah. That comes compliments of uh, channels 1011 Lincoln and Grand Island, Nebraska. Okay. I'll give you two because they're small. Okay. And because you're a, such a big smoker. Okay. George Burns came to Nebraska in 1932. He made a return visit in 1981. That means there was 39 years in between. Now, George, I figure if you come back to Nebraska, it'll be the year 2024. I'm coming back. Okay, I knew he would. I knew he would. Back. You see, it, the first time I played there was when? 1932. And then the second 1981 for well, Alenga General Hospital. Well, they must have liked me or they wouldn't have brought me back. I know. It's too bad it took 39 years yeah. to get you back, though. But we'll expect you in 2024. Okay. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm not going to die. I don't believe in it. It's been done. Ah, you know, the amazing thing about you is your brain. When one gets to 89 years of age, I'm already starting to lose it. No, you're not. Oh. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, what do you do to keep your brain sharp? Well, I've got three or four brains. I'm wearing the one that today... That for, works. That works. So that i got some that don't. No, seriously. Well, because I keep working all the time. You know, I'm not, and you're talking... On, you're on a subject that I know all... I've, been in that subject now for practically o over over 80 years. And when you talk about show, if you talk about politics, I know nothing about it. But if you talk about show business, I know a lot. But George, you're able to pull names and incidences that have happened in your lifetime. For in 89 years, there's a lot that's been crammed into your brain. Well, my memory is only good if I get paid. Oh. <laughs> if I don't get paid, I can't. And for instance, when I do a script, I do a picture. I know the words because I work very hard at it. And then when the picture is over, if you ask me the next day, it's gone. But don't you play bridge? And doesn't oh, yeah. that help to keep your brain sharp? Yeah, bridge is a very good game. It takes a lot of concentration. And I'm not a great, I'm not a great bridge. I'm a pretty good bridge player. But uh, the reason I play bridge, it's it's the only thing that keeps me away from show business. I try to play it every day for a couple hours, two hours a day, from three to from one to three. What do you do in the morning when you get up? Exercise. What kind of exercise? I do a half hour of very good exercise. I'm stretching exercises. I do sit-ups. I take both my legs, throw them over my head, <laughs> put my hand under my high knee, and ride, do bicycle riding <laughs> upside down. How much do you weigh, George? About 126. 126. How long are you going to keep working? Forever. Now, you're one of 12 children, right. ninth in line. How long did your mommy and daddy live and your brothers and sisters? My father died when he was 40. That doesn't mean my father was a great lover because we oh. had 12 children. What did it mean? It, mean, it meant it was very cold in our house. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> we had no wood for the fire. So to keep warm, you had children. Everybody well, had children. Your dad died at 46? 40, 40, 47. Of what? We went, ooh. He went, ooh? Well, I'll explain it to you. Oh. The kids in school, the teacher says to one kid, what does your father do? He says, he's a doctor. He, what does your father do? He says, my father's a lawyer. He, what does your father do? He says, my father's dead. He says, what did he do before he died? He says, he went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, That's what that means. But what, what did he die of, though, really? Who, my father? Yeah. Got sick and died. Is Stop breathing. Your heart okay. stopped. How, how, how does he die? Well, see, what I'm trying to get at is, well, did they live to the age that you no, had? No, no. My, my one sister lived uh, to be 93. I called her up once, and I said, um, uh, before she, she's not with us anymore. I called her up. I said, how do you feel? She says, I'm 93 and hung up. <laughs> I've never asked anybody at the house. Okay, I just one last thing, the cigars. I know you smoke a lot of, 15 to 20 cigars a day. Uh, that's right. What does a doctor say to He's you? He's dead. <laughs> I love it, I love it. George Burns Comedy Week, you will be seeing him here on 1011 on Wednesdays, and you're, you're going to be the host. I'm the host. Will you comment on the show? Uh, yes, I will. They're paying you the big and bucks? they're paying me the big bucks. And how are we going to spend them? You and I? You and I. We'll go dancing. Okay. We'll stop that way. All right. <laughs> okay, kid. Why don't you date women your own age? I do. How old are you? <laughs> no. Eight, nine. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a kid. The reason I don't, I, I, there are no women my age. <laughs> They're all gone. Oh, you, man, I'm going to give you a hug. Can I give you a hug? Sure. Oh, okay. I wanted to, I've always wanted okay. to do what a special okay. person you are. Stay you, around. I will. Come back.
2024 to Lincoln, Nebraska. I will. Please, George okay. Burns, George Burns Comedy Week right here. What a delight. Thank, Thank you so much.